Hello and welcome back to another online PE lesson. My name's Jack. Um, hopefully you're watching this at school or you're at home with your family and staying safe. Today we're going to be working on hitting a ball with a racket or with our hand. So developing our hand-eye coordination. Um, and this is a vital skill for many different sports. So this will be for tennis or badminton, but can also transfer into things like rounders and cricket. Okay, so there's lots of different things we're going to be looking at. It's going to develop our hand-eye coordination. Um, and we're going to have lots of fun in our in our games as well today. Okay, um, so equipment you're going to need for this is a ball. Okay, so I've just got a tennis ball. Um, if you have got a racket, great. If not, you can use your hand for a lot of the different activities as well. So don't worry if you haven't got a racket, just use a hand. You're also going to need something to mark out areas. So if you're at school, maybe use some cones. Um, if not, you can use anything like t-shirts or some potentially some stones like I'm going to use later on in the lesson. Okay, hopefully you've got your equipment and you're ready to go. And we're gonna move on to our warm up. Okay, so for our warm up today, you're gonna to need a tennis ball and a racket, like I've said. Um, and we're just gonna start, you're gonna start by walking around, but you're gonna be balancing your tennis ball on your racket. Okay, so like this, you're gonna hold on here and walk around now just quickly. Um, this is my frying pan today. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it like a frying pan, nice and flat, so nothing falls off the edges. Okay, I've got my thumb just on there, just to keep it nice and steady, okay? Um, if you're unsure how to hold a tennis racket, sometimes it's easy to imagine you're shaking somebody's hand. So if you hold it out in front of you, okay, imagine I'm shaking somebody's hand like that, okay? And then I've got my tennis racket in a good grip. So I'm gonna walk around in my area, okay? Holding my tennis racket, keeping that ball on there, okay? So walk around, try and keep it nice and level, okay? So pause the video, have a go at that. Do that for about a minute. Just try and get used to holding the racket and keeping the ball steady. Okay, once you've done that, we're now gonna progress it. You're gonna start bouncing the ball as you're walking around. Okay, so you can walk around again. Make sure you don't bump into anybody, okay? But walking around, trying to keep the ball nice and controlled. Again, so we're focusing on getting a good grip, so making sure you're holding your racket properly. So thumb on there or shaking hands with the racket. Keep that racket nice and level. Keep that ball under control. Again, have a go at that. And then we're gonna move on to our final, final test for you in the fry pan challenge is we're gonna flip our frying pan. Okay, so we're gonna hit it and flip our frying pan. If you can do that whilst walking around, you're doing really, really good. So pause the video, have a go, see how long you can walk around flipping it without dropping anything out of your frying pan. So for our next challenge, we are going to be using our frying pan again, and this time we're gonna be flipping some pancakes. Are you ready? So what I've done is I've marked out a target for me down there. Now. This time, I've just used some towels and marked out a little square. Again, use whatever you've got available at home. If you're at school, use some cones or flat markers, or you can use some hoops to try and land your pancake in. So I'm gonna imagine this is my pancake, this is my frying pan. I'm gonna try and flip it and flip the pancake into my target down there. I'm about two or three meters away. Again, adapt it to make it a, cha a challenge for you. So if you're potentially a little bit younger, start a little bit closer. If you're a bit older, start a bit further away. Okay, I'm gonna quickly show you. So I'm just gonna try and get this ball to land in that um, target over there. If it bounces and goes out, fine. If it bounces and rolls in, also fine, okay. You pick the rules however you want to set it up. But I'm gonna say, as long as it lands in there, it's fine, okay. So it doesn't matter if it lands on the first bounce or the second bounce, as long as it lands in, I'm gonna give myself a point, okay. So same, same as before, I'm gonna start like this, and bring it down a little bit and push up to get a bit of power on it, okay. So it's gonna flick your wrist a little bit forward to try and generate some power. Let's have a go. So got my pancake, ready to go. Flip, bounce. Okay, it's just, just missed there. Okay, so I need to adjust my aim because I was leaning a bit to the left to make sure as I'm coming forward, I'm going towards my target. Okay, let me show you one more time. Okay, so I want my, my racket to go towards my target, okay? Okay, so it bounced just over that one more time. I'm 
determined to get it in. Okay, final one. There we go. It landed and stayed in there, so I get a point. Well done to me, okay? So have a go at home or at school, set out a target, pick a distance, try and flip your pancake onto your plate or onto your target, okay? So for this next part of the lesson, what we're going to be doing is playing a game of five. So you can use your hand, hence the name fives, five fingers, uh, and a tennis ball and a wall, which is what I've done inside my house. So we're going to start to look at hitting a ball. So the first way we're going to do that is we're going to drop the ball from about waist high, and then I'm going to hit it against the wall. Okay, so make sure you start in a ready position. So bend your knees, keep your eye on that ball, hand open, ready to go. Okay, as I drop it, as it comes up, I'm just going to hit it and try and catch it. Okay, if you don't catch it, don't worry. We'll focus on hitting the ball here, okay? So, I'll show you one more time. So, we're going to drop, hit, catch. Okay, so we're developing our coordination a little bit with this. One more time. So, start waist height, ready position, hand on the ball, bend the knees, drop, hit, catch. Okay? Once you've done that, we can then put it into a bit of a rally. So, how many can you do in a row without messing up? Okay? This time, though, you're not going to catch it. So, you're going to drop, hit, let it bounce once and then hit it again. See how many you can do in a row. Are you ready? So we're going to drop, hit, let it bounce, drop, hit, that's two, three. Oh, okay, three is my effort. See how many you can do at home. So pause the video, see how many times you can hit the ball against the wall let it, with only one bounce in between. Okay, we're now going to put all those skills into a little game of singles or mini singles in this case. So I've marked out a little area behind me. Again, I've just used some towels. Um, on the next slide, there'll be a diagram just so you get it, you get your court set up properly. But it's basically two squares. I'm defending one square, my sister's defending the other. So we're gonna start by just using our hands. So the aim of the game is I'm gonna try and bounce the ball into my sister's half of the court. Now, if you're playing some grass, that's how I'd recommend doing it. If you're on concrete or a playground, okay, you can maybe let the ball bounce once before you hit it, okay? So I'm gonna try and hit it. So I'm gonna throw it, hit, like we did against the wall earlier. My sister's gonna try and catch it before it hits the floor. So let's think a few tactics as well. Let's try and hit the ball into space so it's harder for my opponent to get it. So we're gonna quickly demonstrate uh, and then we'll move on and progress a little bit, okay? So we're just gonna quickly demonstrate our game. Okay, so again, throw, hit, try and land it in my opponent's half. You ready? Yeah. So I'm gonna try and hit. My sister's gonna catch it and stop, so I'm gonna try and catch hers now. Oh, okay, right, so she managed to bounce it into my half, she gets one point. Right, so one nil to you. A good catch. Okay, so final one. Good, okay, good. All right, okay, so we're now gonna progress. We're gonna pick up a racket. Okay, so if you haven't got a racket, you can carry on like that. We're gonna use a racket now. Okay, so we're gonna, again, same rules. So we're gonna throw, hit, try and get it to land in my opponent's half, okay? They now can just hit it straight back. So you can either try and catch it, or they can hit it straight back, okay? Let's have a go. You ready? So throw, little hit. Okay, that's one nil to me. So it landed in my sister's half, okay? If it goes out, nobody gets a point. When you're ready. Oh. Okay, so that went out, so nobody gets a point. That was a bit high. So there's a lot of power, so you gotta just tap it into your court. Final one. Uh. Two nil. Okay. So, have a go at home. There's a few different variations I'm gonna put on the next slide. There's gonna be some different adaptations. You can try to make it easier and harder. Hopefully you enjoyed that.
thank you again for tuning in to another online PE lesson uh, with Derby County Community Trust. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, there's going to be another video next week. Um, again, send us your videos of you doing your lesson um, to our Twitter at DCCT Super Schools um, so we can see how amazing you guys are all at tennis. Thank you again um, and I'll see you next week.